Welcome to this update on Teams for Office 365 Education. So last time we looked at uh, Teams for Education, it had just been released. Um, there's still a few features missing uh, that we were used to seeing in Microsoft Classroom. Now some of those features have been improved, so we're going to take a quick revisit and see what those updates are. So um, you can see in the message center, uh, there's a few updates here that uh, it's going to tell us about. So IT admin can now disable the chat feature, so that might be quite good for locking down your classes um, if students are misusing them. Uh, so we've got class and staff notebook full screen view, um, including the entire structure. Now that was a huge problem when it first came out. We couldn't see uh, the different sections with all the students on. Now that's integrated and we'll take a look at that um, on a live class site in a minute. So the class notebook settings um, within Teams um, can now be edited. So inside Teams, before we couldn't edit the class notebook settings inside the Teams interface, that's changed. You can now um, do things like disable the collaborative area if you wanted to, um, or create new sections just from within the Teams interface. Um, so staff notebook is full screen, so that's um, in the staff class sites. And in the assignments, we can now add a web link. So there's a few things missing from the assignments that uh, were really good in Microsoft Classroom. One of them was uh, missing web links. Um, we still haven't got support for um, OneNote, um, distributing OneNote pages uh, using the assignment section, but hopefully that's on its way. Um, so if we have a look at our team site, so we've got a team site here. Um, so 11A, uh, sorry, 11MA1, that's our team. And uh, under here, we've got the conversation tab. So this is where students can um, talk and collaborate between themselves. And also the teacher can uh, communicate with the students here. So they can add in some text. Um, need help with assignments. And that will appear in the news stream um, on that conversation page. And they can also add in things like videos and uh, uh, they can meet people in a video call as well. And if we go to the files tab, this is a SharePoint document library for this team. So this is only a temporary collaboration area. You'll still need your SharePoint, main SharePoint sites for those resources you're going to use year after year. But for some temporary resources, maybe a worksheet, um, you could now add this into um, the Microsoft Teams site under the files tab. And if we go to the class notebook section, uh, this one's just preparing. Um, maybe if we just go to another one that's already been set up. So we'll see that this opens up in OneNote Online and previously we didn't have these sections down the left hand side, so we couldn't navigate the site. So it's pretty useless unless you opened it up in SharePoint and opened up uh, the OneNote file. Now we have these sections down the left hand side so you've got, um, as a teacher, I can see all the students. And uh, as a student, I can only see my own section and the ones that the teachers shared with me. And maybe a collaboration space if they're working on documents together. And the teacher um, has the class notebook tools here, which they didn't have previously. So I will make a video on the class notebook in more detail in another video. Um, so it's just a quick overview of the changes uh, inside Microsoft Teams. Um, so if we go to the assignments tab, um, so we can set assignments in this view, and we can set assignments to the students within that team. So I just click new assignments. I can enter a title for it um, of mice and men homework. Enter the instructions, what I want them to do. It could be that I attach some reference materials, or I might even send out a worksheet for students to then complete and hand back to me. And currently I can select it from my OneDrive or I could upload a file. I could create a file on my machine. Uh, so I could use a, create a Word document, PowerPoint or Excel file. I can't select from SharePoint at the moment. So we still need that, that functionality to become available. There's a big space here. So I'm hope, hoping Microsoft fill that up with some uh, great in integration. Um, and we can't add in a class notebook uh, page which we could do in Microsoft Classroom, which is a fantastic, powerful feature. So still waiting for those uh, options to come out. Um, so we can sign that to the students, then we can collect in the work and we can mark it. So we can go to our review tab and see the work that the students have uh, been given, any work that they've handed in, these haven't been completed yet, and I can give them some feedback um, and give them a grade as well. So that's 
fantastic functionality. That's why we added Microsoft Classroom. Um, we're still waiting for the mobile app to show these assignments in it. It doesn't do that at the moment. We have that great Microsoft Classroom uh, mobile app previously that uh, gave you a notification if you had a homework or if your work had been marked. We haven't got that inside Teams yet, so I'm really hoping that Microsoft are working on that or bring that into Teams. And then we'll have that complete uh, homework and assignment solution that people have been wanting for years inside Office 365. Um, so that's a quick overview of Microsoft Teams and the changes that have been made.